Hello YouTube. Bane here. I have put up a lot of videos critical of feminism of late, so I thought to be fair I should balance it by giving a self-proclaimed feminist a chance to explain what she thinks feminism really is. Here we go. Good evening ladies and gentle peeps. Yeah, um. Hello. Not to be rude, but can we get on with the talk about feminism please? Today I'm going to talk to you about feminism. Um, yeah. That's why I am here. This is going to be controversial. Now, first things first, I... I have not studied feminism, um... That probably gives you a huge advantage then. And I am a... a, a red-blooded male, I... What the fuck? Sorry dude, I just assumed you were a lesbian rad fan. It's... I'm, I'm a straight male, I'm interested in women in that way, now. Look dude, you do not have to prove anything. Just tell us about feminism. I have gotten to the stage where I can't help describing a char describing a female character and adding the little proviso of, yes, I am or I'm not sexually attracted to this character. Dude? Really? Too much info. Okay, I get you are a red-blooded male. Can we get back to feminism now, please? Now, the, the kind of... Basically, there are three kinds of feminism. But... Okay. Good. Good. Now we are getting somewhere. I am listening. Go on. The first kind, the kind that you might be more used to, is the kind of the feminazi. It's 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 almost the straw feminist, except it's not, because you only have to look at the feminist frequency to kind of see it. This is this is very much. It it, it sounds like conspiracy theorists, you know, because they say, oh, there's a, there's the patriarchy, which is just you know male lineage. It's just you know, it it it's kind of they they treat this thing with all its big words with these big powerful words as though it's kind of like men have an ironclad hold over the world and we are ruled by our dicks when i'll get to my views later but but the the word what it actually means isn't so Full with connotations. To uh, to 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 the first way of feminists, it does because it's saying that yeah, uh, some people, some interpretations are kind of like we need to enlighten them to not be oppressing, or or even like. They are accidentally standing in our way, but it's pretty much the same thing, you know, worded differently, uh, said, you know, with different emotions behind it, but it's still basically, we're not getting jobs because of men, you need to stop having such a male-centric world. Okay, that's the first way of... Of feminism. I am not going to pretend I understood any of that. Maybe we should just move on to the next type. The the middle way is is kind of the it it's saying that yeah, there there's a problem that definitely women aren't getting jobs and whatever and men are more prominently in positions and you only have to look at in the media to see that yeah, there's some inconsistencies going on, but we need equality. That means no talking shit about a patriarchy because there isn't a conspiracy going on. Men are just... Men have just had a head start because they were once this oppressive patriarchy, and now that they've got the head start, they're succeeding. And... Women need to kind of break into that and have equality. It's and and whether you get that equality by by sort of 
almost positive discrimination or by just breaking through and saying, okay, we need more of this and we need less negative discrimination. It's it's this the second way. The sort of the bumbling diplomats, okay. Bumbling diplomats? What the fuck? The the feminism in in this in this sort of thing, this is the kind of feminism that doesn't want to say it's feminist. This is this is the feminism that is very much the well, I wouldn't call myself a feminist, but I do believe that there are problems with sexism and they need to be solved and things could be more equal. Okay. I have to tell you, this feminist stuff is very confusing. No wonder so many people have to go to university to study it. What about the third type? Tell us about that. And then there's the third way. And kind of... Anybody who knows my shit is probably going to be... No, know what I'm going to say now. I'm probably going to be groaning in despair as I say it. But the third way of uh, feminism in, in this extent is very much kind of like... We can have power by using the by using the patriarchy's genitalia centricism okay kind of yeah men are just led around by their dicks you can easily manipulate them that's just fucking rude no need to pass us off as such a negative shallow stereotype you are starting to piss me off men are a problem that needs to be de dealt with. It hey, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Men are basically oppressing us because either through accident or deliberation, and basically we need to overthrow them. Hey, wait a second. Why do you keep talking about men in a third person like that? You're not a guy. You are a lesbian rad femme. I knew it. That fucking bad haircut gave it away. Men are are patriarchal, oppressive, dick-led idiots. Well, fuck you too. Uh, as a method of... of, uh, of feminism, it is kind of... backward. Oh, we are back to talking about feminism now, are we? I kind of... well, well backwards the wrong word, but it's... It is kind of the thing of feminism is about bringing equality. So here you have kind of people who kind of call themselves feminists, but are very, very much are not. Okay, what you are saying is that the feminists are feminists who are not feminists. This is complex. I should be taking notes. It, it doesn't help the situation, I feel. I mean, if you want to do it, if you feel that way, generally, then... Fuck, if I want to take notes, I will fucking take notes. Jeez, what's the big deal? Can we get back to feminism now, please? It's then, then good on you, it's your life, I'm not gonna condemn you, because, let's face it, I'm a white middle class geek. And I am a skull in a cool aid jar. Now stay on topic, please. I find sexual objectification a turn on. Please, please, I am begging you. Please do not take off your clothes. I am not interested in sexually objectifying you, not in any possible way. Can we please get back on topic? I, 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 I know I shouldn't, because I know that the that, that feminism is just like, no, 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 you can't, no, 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 evil, evil, evil. Seriously, if you start taking off your clothes, I am ending this conversation. It is... A kind of fairly, I don't know if I should say natural, but it feels right to say it. It feels like a natural part of reproductive urges. Yeah, I can tell you, there are no reproductive urges here. Please stop sexually harassing me and get back to the topic. I'm probably never going to. Once I say this, I'm probably never going to get with anyone in my life ever, but it feels very much like at some level you're saying, okay, I am yours, you are mine. I never said that. 
I did not say anything like that. This is really creeping me out. Is this what Rebecca Watson felt like in the elevator? Hey, maybe I can use this to become famous? We will each protect each other and each allow the other to, to use us. <laughs> Okay, I think. I think it's only natural for us to try and squirm at sex that isn't our orientation. If you listen very closely, you can hear someone banging their head against a brick wall in the background because you only have to look at the feminist frequency to kind of 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 fr